Hello, welcome to Scrap Time. My name is Christine, and in this video, I am going to be showing you how to make some pillow boxes using the Martha Stewart box tool. I made these really great pillow boxes using the pillow box tool from Martha Stewart. And with the tool, you make three sizes. So there's a, this one here from here to here is around just over four inches. This one's five and a half, and this one is about eight inches. And so you can see they're quite large, or the large one is quite large. And I actually made about 25 of these um, for an advent calendar for Gemma. And that's why there's like the number 21 and then 23, and this is number six. Um, these papers were from Chamel's uh, original line. And so I had them lying around, so I decided to use the papers for that. Um, the smallest one will fit a gift card as well as many other small items. So I was able to fit everything I bought for Gemma's advent calendar in one of these sizes. So I'm going to show you how easy it is to use the tool to make these boxes. This here is the tool and there's to make the different sizes you either use size one, two, or three. It all sort of sits together and you get a stylus. We're going to make a medium box, so I'm going to just take that out of there and put this aside. So I'm just using this piece of paper here. I think it was from Spellbinders. So since I'm using two, you'll notice here it's one, two, and three. I'm going down to the second one. Now on the bottom here, um, there's the knife and then there's a storage for extra blades in the bottom. So what I want to do, I'm going to get my stylus. You, when you place it on your paper, you want to make sure that it's going to cut. So you just do this, you don't press down and you see that, okay, I have enough paper there. So I'm going to put it aside and now with the stylus, I'm going to just score there. Now for the ends, I like to give it a nice heavy score because that's where we're going to be folding it. So I want to make sure that it's going to be easy to fold. So I go over a couple times and then we score here. So now I'm going to cut from this corner to this corner with my blade and it's sort of falls into place. Gives you some idea where it is. So to cut, you press down and I cut to there. And then I'm going to just move it around. It's in place there. Cut to there. So you may not be able to see, but that score line that I made there, that's my new guide. So I'm going to put my tool back on that guide and then I'm going to score again. So again with the edge, I am giving it a heavy score. And then a score along the edge here. So now when I cut, I'm gonna cut all the way around. and then I remove my tool. Now here I have to just give it a little trim. I didn't quite connect my cuts. And then sometimes here I find it doesn't, um, depending on your pressure, it doesn't fully cut, but it gives you the line. So even though some, I have to do a little bit of cutting by hand, um, I still find the tool really easy to use. So now that that is done, what I like to do is make a little notch. So when you push these down, um, it's easy to get out. So I use a circle punch and I just cut it like half a circle. It's best to do that when it is flat, but even if you already put it together, you can still do that. So if you have a bone folder, you can use your bone folder just to give it some score. 
We're scoring on those lines that we made. And then to attach it, I am just going to put a line of glue there. Now I like to use this quick dry, Scotch quick dry glue. It's uh, my preferred glue, but you can use um, tape if you want. I just, I prefer not to use tape on this. I find that the glue will hold it better. I don't have a Kleenex on me to clean that up. So there is our box. Now I want to just let it dry. I don't want to fold it up yet. Um, because the glue is wet. So I'm going to put it aside, wipe off my fingers, but I'll show you on this one. It's very easy to fold it on those scored lines. And because I had that in there, it's easy for my finger to get in there. That's why I like to make that little punch. So once it's done, it's really easy just to score your little boxes on those lines. Now the one thing I want to point out is with the large ones, um, if you have a sheet of paper that's 13 by 9 inches, you can make a large one out of one sheet of paper. However, I was using scrapbook paper and so I did it out of two sheets of paper and I won't make it but I'll just sort of talk you through. What you want to do is we line it up we score all the way around and then what you do is you cut the whole thing and you do that twice and then you just glue them together. So that's how you make the big box if you have two sheets of paper is you just cut two pieces and glue it together and then again inside I did the same thing. So that is the pillow box tool from Martha Stewart. Um, as I said, it's really easy to use. I made a bunch of these boxes. You can use it all year long, even though I did it for an advent calendar. It's perfect for gifts all year long. And I love the sizes that are available because you can actually fit gifts inside these pillow boxes. Thanks for watching Scrap Time. Be sure to like our video and subscribe to Scrap Time videos on YouTube to keep up with the latest from the paper crafting industry and art journaling. See you next time.